Hi folks, this is going to be a quick run through of the Zoho Client Portal for WordPress plugin. Uh, here we are on the plugin screen and you can see that we have installed the plugin. It comes with automatic updates. Um, if you don't have the uh, automatic updates, uh, update the portal uh, for you, you can go ahead and click this check for updates button to make sure it's on the most current version. Once you've activated the plugin, you'll see it added over here on the left hand sidebar and uh, the licensing tab will show you where you are with your API calls, which products have been using the most calls, and where you stand for this month and today. If you need to upgrade your license, just go ahead and click this tab over here to upgrade to allow for more API calls. Uh, next thing that you'll do is come through here to the Zoho API settings page, and you'll see the various Zoho products that are available for you to connect. Uh, just go ahead and follow the instructions underneath each tab to get that specific Zoho product connected. Once the connection has been made, you can then configure each product by going to the customization section. The home tab is going to show you all the modules that are available from the CRM, and you can go ahead and click to activate them. If you've uh, added other Zoho products, you'll see them show up here, like tickets for desk, books, subscriptions, etc. So let's go ahead and explore some of the options for a custom module in Zoho CRM. If you click on that tab, you'll be able to turn that uh, particular module on or off for the portal. You can then rename the menu, and then you need to map the account field. And you're given this option to, by default, only show records that have a direct lookup to the account uh, that that user belongs to. This is quite important because by default, this portal is built as a client portal, meaning that a contact is related to an account, and we're only going to show them records that are directly related to their account. However, we also have the option to make modules publicly available. So if, for instance, we wanted to make this custom programs module publicly available to everyone, Instead of uh, selecting this account field, we can then choose custom sharing, and we can actually make a whole view available to everyone that accesses this portal. So this is a great way that you can, in effect, use the client portal as a directory by making records available from the CRM uh, to users through your website through this portal. So whenever you make an update to a section, make sure that you click the update button. We can then define uh, whether we can give that user the ability to view, add, edit, or delete records within that module. This section over here will show the list view where you'll be able to choose which fields are shown when we are providing the records in a list view. And then over here is where you'll define how users can uh, see the data in a detailed view when they actually click into a record. Uh, there's going to be a UI update on this section, so I apologize if this is going to be out of date soon, but um, you will be able to define the uh, view screen by adding sections. You can map subforms into here as well. You can label the uh, section and then all of the fields within it, and we'll be adding in some options here of whether that field is uh, view only, editable, or delete, uh, for example. Uh, instead of having additional tabs up here. Uh, once you've gone through and chosen the different options for the different products, um, it's going to follow very much the same convention. You can then go through to your design settings. The design settings is where you're going to adjust the look and feel of the plugin. So we have the ability to have the menu on the left-hand sidebar or across the top. Uh, we can show the um, logo and the account manager information as a little widget over here. By default, this image is actually going to pull in the logo of the account, so the image of the account in the CRM gets pulled through over here. And then we can choose whether the plugin is a full width or just partial width. If you show deals in the CRM, you can choose which deal stages show up, and then setting the primary color for the uh, plugin as well. Under the dashboard content, this is where you can click and choose what components you'd like to show up here on the dashboard. So we have a banner image, a text section, a video. We can do some quick links. We can embed an iframe. So you really have a lot of flexibility with what you show on this home screen. And you can do that by activating the different sections over here. And then you can click and drag them around over here to adjust the layout, whether you want it to span all the way across or just have it be a double column 
as well. And then under the appearance is where we get into fine tuning the color schemes. So you can go ahead and adjust all the colors for the different menu items, um, text, etc. Next thing we're going to do is dive into user management. So when you want to go ahead and add a user or invite a user to the portal, we're going to start by clicking this add new button. What you will do is begin t uh, typing the email address of the uh, person or the contact in Zoho CRM, click search, and what it's going to do is show you any users that match that particular person. So uh, once you've uh, searched for this, uh, then you'll put their email address in here and you'll define an initial password and you'll go ahead and save to create that user. You can then provide them their credentials to log in for the first time. Uh, once they have logged in, they'll be able to go here to the My Account Profile and let's just re-log in here. Click on My Account Profile and here you can see that they can change their password if they need to reset it. They'll also be able to see, of course, their account information. If it's editable, they can edit it. And then any attachments to the account record will show up underneath uh, that account profile tab as well. Uh, here's where we have the uh, programs. So this is where we can show what fields are available in the list view and give them the ability to view, edit, or add a new program if they have the permissions. Um, we also have the ability to Again, click through our finance modules, depending on what we've activated, they can view invoices, pay for invoices, um, and uh, under subscriptions, they can choose their subscription plans, adjust subscription plans, add contacts, manage their uh, secrets from Vault. If you are adding Vault, um, what you would need to do at the user level is choose which Vault they have access to. So if I go ahead and here's my existing user, and I click on details. This is where we can go ahead and uh, choose which secrets that particular user has access to. Um, so uh, this is where you define those uh, permissions of whether they can view, add, edit, or delete the secrets in the chamber that you give them access to. This section down here is for custom quick links. So if you have a unique URL that you'd like to show to a user, um, specifically to them, not a universal one, you go ahead and publish that over here. When you add a custom quick link like this to a user profile, it's going to show up down here as another menu item specifically for that user. This becomes very powerful if we want to embed a custom dashboard from Zoho Analytics. You can create a universal dashboard, filter it by the account, and then um, embed that specific published URL over here in their portal. And this will allow you to bring in uh, unique dashboards specifically to that client from Zoho Analytics. And we'll see here as this load what that will look like. So here you can see this is just a standard Zoho Analytics dashboard where we can then have user filters and they can drill down into their data that's relevant to them. So this uh, allows us to be very flexible uh, with what data we provide to our clients through this portal. Now, this is uh, for a unique link specifically to this individual. If you wanted to embed a more public dashboard, you can go ahead and do that on the home screen here. Um, on the design settings, we have as one of the dashboard content options a iframe embed. And this is where we can choose to either enter a public URL or we can map a unique URL from a field directly on the account record. So there are really two options of how you want to map iframe uh, URLs. We can, as I just showed on the quick links for the user, add it as a separate tab down over here. Or if you want to have a more dynamic way to show a unique dashboard on the home screen for a user, then in the CRM, you can have a field, for instance, called dashboard, put the URL in there and map it, and then anyone who logs in, um, their uh, homepage iframe will be the URL that's in their account record on that field. So again, a lot of flexibility with how we can display uh, customized dashboards within the uh, portal as well. 
So when it actually comes to installing the plugin, uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, click on instructions to copy the short code, and you'll just drop that short code in on the page that you'd like the portal to display. And uh, what we recommend is then creating a button on your website to hyperlink to that page. In this case, we put it on a client portal. Over here, they'll be able to uh, log in, or if you uh, allow for the sign up option, they can click sign up, and this will take them through a quick tutorial to uh, go ahead and sign up for the system. And let's just go ahead and use the same email. The username must be an email. Once they have signed up, they'll need to specify their account and a website. And then it's going to do a check to see if this person already exists. Uh, it's given me a warning that uh, this uh, account already exists in the system, so we can uh, go ahead and add this user to that existing organization or create a new one. When we go ahead and click Save, then this is going to add this user under the user management under pending users. So here we can see our test that we just did. And then when we go ahead and click Add, again, we are given another um, uh, choice here to create a new account or add it to the existing account and we can go ahead and search for our test. And here we can see the list of accounts that have the name test, and we can go ahead and add this person to that account. It's important that we have these multiple checks because as soon as that user gets added, they'll be able to see all the data related to that account. So that's why we have the few uh, different checkpoints to make sure that we're adding that user to the correct account. Now, once they add it, that user can then go ahead and click login once they've received the login credentials from you. Log in with that uh, username and uh, password, and then uh, they'll have full access to the portal. So uh, this is a quick run through. Um, we'll do more detailed videos on uh, certain sections of uh, the setup process, but uh, we always look forward to connecting with you via web conference and helping you dial it in. Thanks a lot. Cheers.